the missing, murdered, and um, indigenous women issue is widespread. We've told you some of the struggles, and we've also told you some of the stories of these missing people. But now the MMIWR task force is seeing results with more resources going towards stopping violence against women. New Mexico is one of the states with the highest number of missing girls and women. The New Mexico MMIWR task force is working on gathering data and trying to find solutions. Between 2014 and 2019, Albuquerque reported 660 Native American missing persons, of which 287 are women. This is an epidemic uh, in terms of the loss of women uh, and, and of missing and murdered indigenous women, uh, not only in New Mexico, but across the country. And while this is only a, a small step in the right direction, it's a, it's a critical step. The district attorney signed a memorandum that will create a MMIW unit at the DA's office. They will have one analyst looking at historical crime data, and they're hiring an investigator. A key element of the unit will be to share information. And it is that goal, that objective, to try and build a platform so we can have real-time information sharing. I'm so frustrated. Oftentimes we are brought in to investigate these issues and these cases years after an initial report has been filed with a local law enforcement agency. The news of advances is positive for people who've experienced violence firsthand. I was trafficked and coming from a small town in Gallup, this is a big thing for the legislature, not only for, for me, but for the missing families. For advocates, it's a relief to have people recognize the magnitude of the problem. Probably would have been dead right now, and no one wouldn't even care. But the fact that I'm still standing here advocating, maybe there's a voice out there that needs to be heard, and I'm their voice. The district attorney's office is going to be asking for a special appropriation request at this next legislative session for two more investigators for that missing murdered subunit. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. Governor Lujan Grisham is proposing a missing persons day to reflect and focus on what needs to be done. <laughs>